open Open up, open Toyokalon soft dread hair and I'm doing about four three or four packs in the 1B and then I'm doing the Kimma braid hair in a two my braid pattern if you can see it I'm a beginner with the braid so I just do what works for me it's very simple I started here and I went all the way around if you can see it hopefully all the way around and then as I braid it, I just loop them up, braid it, and loop the ends up, and loop the ends up. That's how I did my braid pattern in the top. I'm trying to perfect on having a part, so we'll see how that turns out. What I did, just for extra protection, I just combed out the Marley twist hair because I, I didn't care for it. I could not do, I haven't gotten perfect with it, so dipping it was a mess, and it took me favor. So what I do, I just comb out the Marley hair, or you can use Canacula, whatever you prefer, and I braided my hair with this hair. So how I separate this hair to do my crochet braids, I just pull it at the ends, like so. And as I'm pulling it, it starts to separate itself, if you can see. And I just go with the flow of how it separates itself and unravel it. The thing I like most about this hair, as you can see, it has a nice curl to it. And unlike the Marley hair, it doesn't really nap up or it doesn't really become difficult to work with. So I have between four, um, I have about four strands each time I separate it, as you can see. And... And it's just how I just put this in there. Make sure that it is even on both sides. I loop the hair in. Close it. Pull it through. Hopefully you can see that. And I loop it through about three times. And I pull it. And I push it through just to make sure. And sometimes, depending on how my knot is, like this one, I pull it down just to make sure it knots at the bottom. And sometimes I want an extra layer of security. I actually tie a knot into it. If you can see that, and that's about how it looks. So I'm going to do a few more because as you can see, I have my base layer done. And I try to make sure my base layer is really full. So I'm just going to do a few more. Pull it through. Make sure it's even. And again, like I said, I just really love this hair so far. I want to really love it. I love the fact that it doesn't get nappy. It's kind of like spiral curls that have already been spritzed. So you don't have to worry about them getting nappy. You don't have to worry about them losing their curl the more you manipulate them. And I like that. Now, I don't know how the hair is gonna, style is going to turn out with this braiding pattern because I've only done a crochet braids once before, um, and it took me literally 12 hours. Um, I hear on your first time it tends to take you a little bit longer. I'm not sure, but it took me a long time. Um, this time it took me about an hour to do the braids. And... So far, it has taken me about 30 minutes just to get this first level done. But I did a lot of stopping and starting, too, in order to, you know, figure out how I was going to do the hair and everything. Oh, and also, here at the top, I braided it to about here. Then I connected it at the bottom because this is what I was going to use for my part area. And the last braid, because everything was connected, so I only had one little braid in, I just sewed that one braid up. To me, that's a whole lot easier than having multiple braids. Um, and I wish I had have recorded that. But to me, that's just a lot better than having multiple braids that you're trying to tie together and sew them in. 
So I just, again, braid it straight down. And then as I braided my second one, I would pull the end of that braid up and braid it into it. Hopefully that makes sense. If not, there are several other videos that have the tutorials for that pattern that I'm speaking of. And I'll try to link them onto the... I'm braiding my hair with the... Um, Whatever hair you decide to use. I've used Marley. I've used Conaculum. Whatever hair you decide to use to just um, give an extra protection barrier. I actually use grease on the hair. Just to keep my hair a little bit moisturized. Some people do not believe in greasing the scalp. Some people feel like it clogs the pores. I would say again that is a personal preference. Because my mom has greased my hair since I was a little girl. And my hair has never had an issue with it. My hair has grown just fine. Um, so I think it's just about what your hair is used to. Or you can oil it. Or you can spray the braiding hair as you're braiding your hair with oil sheen. I have someone who I know who does that. Now, remember I said that I looped the braids as I would braid down. And then I would loop them and connect them to the problem braid. Well, the easiest way to get the, um, for me, because I struggled with it and I had to realize, is instead of going up like I would do into this one, it's better for me to go down through the loop. Go down through the loop. Attach the hair. Then come back up and pull the hair through a couple of times. And on this one, this would be the one that after I pulled it through about two or three times, I would then knot it. And I'll show you another one just in case I didn't get a really good angle. Open, 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 Now for the first couple of um rows, I use a top. Tokyo Clon Tokopa, however it's been up. And I just started using the Kimbler. Remember I said with the other one that it did not nap up? Well, with the Kimba, when you do separate them, I just want to show you this. It does. It breaks apart and it gets really frizzy. So I'm just going to probably cut that in. Off. But that's a difference that I've noticed between the two already. Um, the other one I didn't really have that problem, but on a few of the ends of this one, I just noticed that it does get a little bit frizzier. See, like that one is the same way, so I'm just gonna clip those ends off. Um, <clears throat> and I'm glad I only got one pack of the Kimba because I don't I don't like the frizzy ends, especially not even before I've gotten it in. So, my personal preference would be this one so far. I really like it. So, this morning I started doing the crochet braids um, at about 7-ish, a little after 7. I don't know if it was 10, 15, 20 minutes after 7. I'm not sure. And it's now 11.42. So, the, as I stated, the first time I did them... It took me from like 7 or 8 that morning until about 11 that night. <laughs> and that was because I did the Marley braid, which was a whole lot different. Well, I think it was the Marley twist hair because I had to braid it, crochet it, and then I attempted to curl it several times and it just was a mess. So this, I will say, is great hair for a beginner because you're not having to do anything extra to it. It's pretty much already sectioned for you. All you have to do, um, like I said, is just pull it apart 
and just let it make its own sections. That's really easy. Um, and this is how it's starting to fall. So, it, you know, I wasn't sure because this is my first time braiding the way I did instead of going straight to the back like I did the first time. Let me do a close-up. This is what I've got going so far. And this is the back. Really cool. And this took a total, um, I have a few pieces left, as you can see, but this has taken a total of four packs. So it took four. I've seen one person who did hers and it took five, but I've only used four for mine. And that's, that was exactly enough. Like if I had have gotten anything less than that, it would not have been a look. So I finally finished installing and went through and I'm looking like, cause I used two different links. I'm just clipping them just to make sure that it's not too much of a differentiation between the links. I just did a few little snips. This is how the back looks. And there's, it ended up doing exactly what I wanted it to do. There ended up being a part right in the middle, which sometimes is hard to get. And I think that I got really lucky this time because I also was able to do it where if I wanted to wear it like so to one side, I also have a part there as well. So I'm not sure if you can tell it, but I did cut a good bit of the hair off um, only because it was fine. I mean, it looked okay. But there were, it was just a little bit too much hair for my preference. Um, and this is still a lot, but I know that after a few days of tying it down at night and everything, that it will um, flatten out a little bit and kind of lose its volume. So I'm banking on that. But it is time for bed. So this is how I how my crochet braids how you do yours may be a little bit different but that is okay to each his or her own i'm very tender headed and usually i don't braid very tightly um but this time i did because i don't have time to do my hair so i needed this to last a little bit longer see the different ways that i could wear it now that i don't like because that's too high but if i play with it a little bit this is just since i've cut a little bit of the hair off I can wear the part here or I can switch it up a little bit and wear a part in the middle I can just do a lot of things with this open 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 But that is what I do. Now at night it'll of course shrink down a little bit. My husband probably won't be a big fan of it, but whatever gets the job done. So thank you for watching.